Hello, this is a very brief overview of our online introduction to earth science and introduction to earth science lab sections. The objectives of this presentation are to give you an overall description of how the online Geology 1030 and Geology 1031 courses are taught, to inform you of the required text and other electronic resources, to give you an overview of assignment types, an overview of grading, and an overview of expected time management. I am Dr. Warner Cribb, professor in the Department of Geosciences. I have taught these online classes many times before. Here you can see my email information, uh, my on-campus phone number, my on-campus office. And for these courses, my office hours are by request. We can set those up by either email, D2L chat, or D2L discussion. So to get started, I would ask that you please download and read the Geology 1030 and Geology 1031 course syllabi, which are linked on the D2L homepages and posted under D2L content. Uh, there you also will find course schedules for both Geology 1030 and Geology 1031. Uh, you also need to purchase the required text with a Mastering Geology access code. Mastering Geology is the course support website through which you will complete part of the homework assignments. A link to the text with Mastering Geology access uh, is provided on the D2L homepage. Um, I recommend that you purchase the cheaper e-text, which comes with a Mastering Geology access code. Once you have registered for Mastering Geology, having purchased the e-text, uh, you will then join the Geology 1030 section for these classes using the course code given in the Geology 1030 syllabus and posted on the Geology 1030 homepage. Uh, please note that there is no lab manual required for Geology 1031. You also will need a free subscription to the New York Times. So a free subscription to the New York Times is easy to get. If you don't already have one, simply log into your MTSU pipeline account, click on resources over here on the left, and this page will come up and simply click on the New York Times and you will very easily be able to set up a free New York Times subscription. And we will be using New York Times uh, popular science articles to complete many of the homework and discussion questions. So in addition to the course syllabi that are posted on the D2L homepages and under content, I very strongly urge you to download the course schedules that are posted on both homepages and under both content sections. This is your Geology 1030 schedule. Uh, it lists all the due dates, the different, the different types of assignments that must be completed by each due date. And I will go over each of those different types of assignments uh, in the following sections in this video. So before I get to the different types of homework assignments, uh, when you click on the link in the syllabus or on the Geology 1030 D2L homepage for the text, uh, this window will open and through this window you can purchase the e-text with Mastering Geology Access. I uh, believe this, this price is current. Uh, it may have changed since I made this video. I'm not exactly sure, but the e-text is far, far cheaper than the printed text. And again, by uh, purchasing the e-text, you get an automatic uh, uh, access to Mastering Geology. So in addition to sending out emails with uh, chapter assignments. Uh, I will post at the top of each Geology and, and Geology 1031 homepage uh, the chapter assignments, such as you see here. So on this screenshot, you see the chapter one assignment that you'll be completing first. And uh, as soon as it is available on the first day of class, I will post it on the top of the Geology 1030 or for Geology 1031, uh, that assignment uh, will appear on the top of the uh, D2L homepages 
So while those assignments are due, while you're working on those assignments, you can always go back to the D2L homepages to make sure that you're completing the correct assignments and uh, that you will know exactly what the due dates are. Okay, so for Geology 1030, uh, you will be completing Mastering Geology assignments. Again, you need to purchase a Mastering Geology access code and join the course Mastering Geology section in order to do this. Again, the section code is given on the Geology 1030 D2L homepage and in the Geology 1030 syllabus. Uh, once you join our ge Mastering Geology section, uh, you will simply click on Assignments and all the different assignments will be listed here for you. Uh, my page, which you see here, looks of course a little bit different than yours. Uh, but you will simply click on uh, the assignment which you're working on. And then a new window will open up and uh, you will simply go through and click on each question. These are all multiple choice questions. Mastering Geology assignments are not timed. Uh, you do not have to complete them in one sitting. Your answers are automatically recorded as you complete them. Each assignment is estimated to require between one to one and a half hours to complete. This is based upon past student completion times, which we have access to. Um, each question has a point value ranging from 1 to 5 based upon the question difficulty and or time estimated for completion. You have two chances to answer each question correctly. Uh, if you answer it the first time and you do not get it correctly, the answer correct, but the second time you do get the answer correct, you will lose 25% of the question point value. However, if you answer the question without opening the hint, and not all questions have hints, but many of them do, uh, then you will get 25% of the question point value added to your score for that question. This effectively means that there is extra credit built into the Mastering Geology assignments, and many of you will find that your Mastering Geology scores are well over 100% because of the embedded extra credit. Some Mastering Geology questions do require the use of Google Earth Pro. Uh, that's a free download. Simply search Google Earth and uh, download if it's not already downloaded to your computer. Some Mastering Geology questions also require a geographic information system software package called MapMaster. It's very simple. This is embedded within Mastering Geology, so no, no download is required. However, I do recommend that you complete the kind of no credit uh, introduction to Google Earth Pro and Map Master assignment, which is posted in Mastering Geology, because it will, by completing that, you will be sure that your computer is set up to correctly run both Google Earth and Map Master. So for each chapter, in addition to Mastering Geology assignments, you'll also be completing assignments that are posted under D2L content. So to access those assignments, you simply go to the content link, uh, content link, click on it, and then go down here on the left and find the chapter assignment that you're currently working on. Click on that, and the assignment will come up. Uh, this is the screenshot of your Chapter 1 assignment. So for Geology 1030, uh, these D2L content assignments are mostly essays, short essays, one to two pages maximum, um, and short answer assignments. And for Geology 1031, they're mostly data analysis assignments. And all instructions are included in the assignments. If you ever have any questions about the instructions, please do email me before you start them. And then once you complete those assignments, you will simply click on the Dropbox tab and you will upload a Word document, a .doc or .docx file to um, the Dropbox that is, has the same name as the assignment that you're working on. This is uh, the first assignment in Geology 1030 is called Assessing the Importance of Earth Science in Our Lives. 
So once you complete that, save it as a Word file, then you will simply upload it to this Dropbox and you'll be done. And for more or less every other chapter uh, that you read, there will be a geoethics and environmental sociology discussion forum set up in which you basically will go in and you will complete, uh, you will read, read a brief introduction. And then the requirement is that you must initiate one thread and respond to at least one other student's thread um, by the posted deadline. And so again, you will just simply go in and click on discussion, the discussion link on the D2L homepage and scroll down until you see the Geoethics and Environmental Sociology Discussion Forum. Uh, you will click on the title of the forum that you're currently assigned and then you will post a thread, wait till other students have posted threads if they've not already done so, then find one student's thread who you are interested, which you are interested in, and post a respectful uh, comment to that student's thread. If you've not done this before, uh, here is what you would see when you uh, click on the discussion uh, title link. Uh, this page will open, uh, and then you'll simply click on start a new thread and post your thread there, your comment there. So grading for these classes is very straightforward. All assignments carry the same weight. Your final average is simply the average of all assignments completed uh, in Geology 1030 and Geology 1031. Please remember these are separate courses. They are co-requisites, but uh, we do post separate grades for Geology 1030 and Geology 1031. Please remember that assignments are always due at 11.59 p.m. on the due date. <clears throat> we, we do not accept late assignments except under extenuating circumstances. If that happens, please email the instructor. And incomplete assignments are not accepted. And any incomplete assignments will be assigned a grade of zero percent. Also, please be aware that all Geology 1030 and Geology 1031 D2L content assignments are automatically scanned, scanned for plagiarism. Assignment grades are posted to the D2L grade book on the day following the due date. And uh, please be careful because D2L content assignments with excessive spelling and grammatical errors will be assigned a grade of 0%. I very highly recommend that you download and use the free version of Grammarly if you do not already have it installed on your computer. So in terms of time management, it is expected that you will spend approximately the same amount of time completing the Geology 1030 and Geology 1031 online assignments as you would in an on-campus class. So there, in the online classes, there are 15 chapter assignments uh, equating to one chapter assignment per semester a week in fall and spring semester. So for Geology 1030, that's effectively three hours of lecture plus six hours of study time or approximately nine hours per week you would spend on Geology 1030 during the regular semester. For Geology 1031, that's a two-hour lab plus four hours of study lab report writing. That's approximately six hours you would spend per lab uh, per week during spring and fall semester. So for each chapter assignment, uh, Geology 1030 and Geology 1031 combined, you should expect to spend approximately 15 hours uh, to complete the assignments. Of course, the actual time required depends on numerous internal and external factors, such as your reading comprehension abilities, your writing skills, how many distractions you have while you're completing the assignments, uh, internet speed, etc. Uh, but the ex expectation, or the estimation, I should say, is that it takes about 15 hours to complete each set of a Geology 1030 and Geology 1031 chapter assignments. In general, you get three days to complete each set of assignments, so we're talking about, on the average, five hours per day, which is very reasonable for a summer class. Also, it's important for you to know that you may work on mastering geology assignments in advance, um, but you may not work on the Geology 1030 and Geology 1031 uh, D2L content assignments in advance. 
these are the assignments posted on the Geology 1031 and Geology 1031 D2L pages under content. And, and that is simply because the online instructors are required to check the validity of any external links immediately before the assignment start date. So frequently, unfortunately, some of the links that we use, especially to government websites, uh, for example, if we have a link to a climate change website at the beginning of the term, it's entirely possible that by the time that assignment is posted on the D2L pages, uh, that the government agency has in some form or another changed that web page. And so we have to check those links right before the assignments are posted to make sure that they're working and also to make sure that the information we need for you to get in order to complete the assignments actually is available on those websites. So that's basically what you need to know to get started. Um, I hope that this 15 minute video has been somewhat useful to you. I'm sure that you will have more questions as you read the course syllabi and as you start work on the, in the initial assignments. So please do email me if you have any questions. I'm also willing to set up uh, confidential D2L chats for you. Or if you have questions that you would like to post under discussion, we can do that too. If you think the entire class would like to or would benefit from reading your questions and hearing my answers. And again, I am available pretty much all day, every day and into the evening. And I try to be very responsive in terms of answering your questions as soon as possible. So please do not hesitate to email me either at warner.crib at mtsu, or you can use my D2L email to contact me. I check both quite frequently. I look forward to working with you throughout the term. And again, please let me know if you have any questions.